Hey, this is Sridhar. Today I will explain you about uh, executing Dynamic SQL using Execute Immediate. Normally, Dynamic SQL it means if you are writing a select query, for example, select query, select star from employees. This is a this is a static SQL. Select star from employees. It is a static SQL. We are uh, listing the contents present in the employees table. But if you are writing it like select star from um, concatenating that is pipeline two type pipeline with a variable name it means you are selecting from a like select star from employ employees sorry this is a static sql that is static sql whereas if you are writing the same select statement by the variable name pipeline double pipeline that is concatenating with the variable name it means you are selecting from a table but you don't know the table name so when you will know the table name you will know this table name only during the runtime so this is dynamic sql so for running this kind of dynamic sql we need execute immediate command using this execute immediate statement you can execute the dynamic sql so basically uh, note this uh, difference between the static sql and a dynamic sql if you know the table name if you know the column values if you know the values everything then it is a static sql but if you don't know the table name while writing the code but you will be knowing this table name and you will be knowing this column values only during the runtime in that case it is a dynamic sql to execute this kind of dynamic sql you need execute immediate statement using this execute immediate you can run the dynamic state dynamic sql statement and using dbms underscore sql also you can you can execute this dynamic sql but in this session we'll be discussing about execute immediate only so i have uh, written some uh, important points for dynamic sql only both the compilation and execution and both will occur only during the runtime so separate compilation process whereas the compilation means it will check for the syntax this compilation will not occur in dynamic sql both the compilation and execution it happens only during the runtime so we don't know we know don't we don't know the actual values of the column name or the actual values of the table name till its runtime that is dynamic sql whereas in static sql it will check for the syntax if there is any error in the syntax then it will show you the error while the compilation time itself and oracle uses a concept called early binding in static sql whereas the same oracle uses late binding for dynamic sql for executing the dynamic sql it uses late binding concept because late binding means both the compilation and execution both occurs only during the runtime there is no separate compilation time both the compilation and execution will occur do only during the runtime the so that is known as late binding it uses the late binding concept for dynamic sql whereas in static sql it is early binding and normally when we will be using this dynamic sql to execute any ddl kind of statements why because we can't execute the ddl statements like create table alter table truncate table or drop table these kind of statements we cannot write it directly inside the pl sql block so to execute this kind of ddl statements we need this dynamic sql and we need this execute immediate also to execute the dynamic sql we need execute immediate so the main purpose of execute immediate is to execute ddl kind of statements but we'll be using dml statements also for executing for you uh, for uh, executing the dml kind of statements using this execute immediate we'll be discussing about executing the dml statements using this execute immediate so we'll be first we'll I have written some sample programs for dynamically executing DDL statements. First, we will discuss about the truncate table. I want to truncate a table, but I will be passing the table name as an argument to the tr to the truncate table command. Let me execute this. If you notice this, uh, you may be having a question like. We already know the table name emp underscore email. It is assigned to the tab tab 
variable. The tab variable equals emp underscore email. Why can't we use directly the table name here itself? Yes, you can directly write the table name here itself also. You can rename this command by like this also. This will also work. The ultimate aim is for uh, execute immediately is to execute the DDL statements. So either you can mention the DDL statements directly within single quotes. I missed the single quotes. Directly within the single quotes, you can write the DDL statement. Otherwise, if you know the table name, you can assign it to a variable and you can pass that variable using concatenation symbol. In this way also, you can execute this DDL statement and you can you can include all these program inside a procedure and you can call that procedure by passing the table name as an argument you can include all these statements inside a procedure and pass and uh, passing the table name as an argument to this procedure to truncate in that way also you can do it okay let me execute this first uh, check whether emp underscore email is there or not emp underscore email is there content is not there and um, p underscore email yes emp underscore email is there but email one there are no values so let me populate some values insert into table start from emp underscore email let me check whether the values are there yes values are there because i want this original emp underscore email table and committing let me execute this yes completed i didn't use any dbms output so there is no output let me check emp underscore email no data are there so by this way you can truncate a table using execute immediate so this is the dynamic sql this is the dynamic sql why because we don't know this table name this table name is passed as a value and you can also pass as a value from the procedure also so you are using this table name as an argument and you are assigning you are assigning this to the execute immediate command or statement so by this way you can truncate a table next we will drop the same table here also i am using the same table emp underscore email i am writing the dynamic sql inside the single quotes and this table name is assigned to a variable tab and i am concatenating table name that is table name to the drop table command and i am including this to the execute immediate statement execute immediate within single quotes i am dropping the table let me execute this it's completed check whether the table is dropped or not emp underscore email one is dropped the same way similarly you can also create the table here i am creating a table called tab 4 but tab 4 is already there let me drop it table drop there is no constraint but anyhow i am dropping it it's been dropped yes dropped table 4 is not there let me create the table 4 i am assigning the value table 4 to the tab variable and i am i want to create two columns one column is student number and another column is student name yes number and yes name yes number having number of 5 and yes name having varchar 2 of 50 
and previously we have returned this dynamic sql as part of the execute immediate command itself as part of the execute command we have written the dynamic sql but now i want to write the dynamic sql separately and i have to assign it to the sql statement variable so for that i am initializing sql statement variable that is varchar2 of 100 so my sql statement won't exceed 100 creating the sql statement sql statement equals creating a table create table and i am passing table 4 tab 4 so i am creating the table table name is tab tab variable where tab variable is initialized to tab tab 4 there is table 4 again i am concatenating the list of columns what are the columns column 1 and column 2 column 1 is serial number number of 5 and column 2 is seri that is student number number of 5 and column 2 is student name where 2 of 50 so i am including those statements inside the parenthesis so inside this parenthesis including this column name column 1 and comma so comma should come inside the single quotes pipelining with column 2 separately column 2 and everything is completed two columns are inserted into the create table so close the parenthesis so for closing the parenthesis again you need single quotes close parenthesis and close the single quotes and i'm outputting the sql statement variable why because to check whether my create table syntax is correct or not otherwise it will result in error so e in this way also you can execute it first of all you check whether your syntax is correct or not if the syntax is correct you can execute this sql statement let me check my syntax is correct or not completed i didn't enable server input let me check it again is create table table 4 serial student number number of 5 comma student name where 2 of 50 close the parenthesis so my syntax is correct so i can execute the sql statement now execute it's completed whether check whether the table table 4 is created or not yes table 4 is created Dead, uh, what are the columns included student number and student name where care 2 of 50 and uh, number of 5 there are no data in this way also you can create the table here i mentioned column 1 column 2 as a variable and that variable is assigned to this uh, column name and uh, data type otherwise you can include everything inside the single quotes also next one is alter table now in alter table we will be altering the data type of one of the column here my uh, the data type of serial number is number of 5 i want to increase it by number of 10 so using alter command in dynamic sql i am going to alter the column name the data type of the column so serial number is previously it is number of 5 i want to increase it by number of 10 using this alter command and i am dynamically preparing the sql and passing that dynamic sql to the execute immediate command so alter table and my table name is passed as an argument it is pipeline double pipeline com concatenating with the tab variable and the modify statement is modify student number number of 10 and closing the single quotes let me execute it's completed let me check in table 4 in table 4 student number is previously it is number of 5 now it is number of 10 it's changed by this way you can execute all ddl kind of statements inside you can execute all ddl kind of statements you can prepare the it dynamically sequently and you can execute it using execute immediate because you cannot execute ddl statements inside psql directly you cannot execute directly as the ddl statements directly inside the plsql so to execute this D ddl kind of statements you need execute immediate command next we will see how to execute the dml statements how to write the dynamic sql dynamic sql and 
execute those dynamic SQL DML statements using execute immediate. Thanks for watching. Bye.